I'm going to show you how to draw a floor plan using my own living room as an example. Let's take a look at this room. The room we're about to enter is the living room. This is the room I would like to draw a plan of. And if we look briefly, we'll just see that the room is a rectangle. So a rectangle will be the first thing that I'm going to sketch. To draw the rectangle of the living room, we need three simple materials. We need a pencil, we need an eraser, and we need some sort of ruler so we can draw some nice straight lines. So I'm going to start and I'm going to do the two long walls. And I'm going to do the two shorter ends. Now, if you remember, we walked in through a hallway this way and there was an opening and what I did is I went into the middle of the room and we looked around. What we're going to do next is I'm going to go back into the living room, I'm going to stand in the middle and I'm going to be looking at the four walls. We're going to start with wall number one and we'll be looking from the left all the way to the right. Then we're going to look at wall number two. We're going to also start at the left and, and work our way to the right. Then we're going to work on wall number three. Again, we'll start at the left going all the way to the right. And then the final wall will be wall number four. And we will, when we're looking this way, this will be our left and we'll be working our way to the right. And that's where we'll, uh, that's where we will have started. We're going to start with wall one, where we enter from a hallway through an opening that has no door that closes. And what we're gonna do is we're going to follow along wall one. So there's a lot of wall. And then when we get to the other end, there's a window, and the window is almost at the corner. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna record wall number two. Wall number two will be an easy one for us to draw because it doesn't have any openings in it at all. Now we're coming to wall number three, and we have some blank wall for a while, and then we have a door, so it's a bedroom door. And then we have a more blank wall. And then we have one more door that is right at the corner. And now we're at wall number four. And wall number four is also gonna be a simple one to draw because it's just a plain wall with no openings. And you'll notice that we are back where we started the corner of wall number four and wall number one. So to begin our plan, we need to bring ourselves back into the middle of the living room. And we're going to be starting with wall number one. We're gonna be moving from the left to the right like we did earlier. And what we noticed to begin with is that we went, entered through an opening, which is a break in the wall. And then as we moved along, we notice that there was a long stretch of wall, and then right before we get to the corner, there's a window. And how architects draw windows is they make a small rectangle. So I'm going to draw that. And that is marking where the window goes. And this line that shows where the walls are around the room, and we're gonna be making our openings through there. Later on, I'm going to thicken the wall, so we won't worry about that yet. But when we get to wall number two, we notice that as we move across, there are no openings in it. It is a solid wall. When we get to wall number three, we start to come this way, and there was the doorway to the bedroom. And again, since that is a 
and opening it opening in the wall we're going to erase this line and I'm going to draw the door as it opens this way so I'm gonna this line that I'm drawing right now is the door itself and then I'm going to draw a quarter of a circle that shows the path by which the door closes. So if it's open, it's like this, and when it's closed, it's like that. And architects do that because they want to make sure that when the building is being built, the builders know which way to hang the door or to um, build the door so that we know that it's gonna swing the right way and not get in the way of other things. Now, if we go back to wall number three, we notice that there's another stretch of wall, and before we get to the very corner, there was another door. This door goes into the office. So we're going to erase that line, because again, this is a, an opening in the wall. So I'm gonna draw the other door, and I'm going to draw Again, the quarter circle showing the way that the door opens and closes. Now our final wall is wall number four. And we were looking at it this way from the middle of the room and from the left to the right, we noticed that it was a solid wall. So what we can do in order to make this look and feel a little bit more realistic is we do need to add some thickness to our wall. And so I'm gonna start here, and we'll start with wall number one. And I'm going to, I'm going to add the thickness. I'm gonna go all the way around. And we'll do this one, wall number three. And again, I'm not gonna draw a line where the door is because there's no wall there. And then the next step is to fill in the wall to show that it's a thick structure that's holding up the roof of the building. So I'm gonna just start doing this and then I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm gonna finish it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So now it's your turn to try drawing your own floor plan, whether it be uh, a room in your house or a room that is in your imagination and you want to get that idea out of your head and put it down on paper. And that's what architects do is we come up with ideas about space, the space that's held within these walls, and we can find ways to open up that space and we can make connecting spaces and um, spaces that are one on top of another. There's a million and one ways that we can design things. So we hope that this has been a good way for you to understand how to draw a simple plan and then you can start to make them as fancy and as complicated as you'd like to.